So today I want to share with you an idea about uh, intonating old saxophones. Um, a lot of times these old horns um, don't play in tune, especially um, playing uh, D with the octave key and uh, an E, E flat. Um, a lot of these notes seem to play really sharp on uh, especially altos, not as much with tenor. Um, Lots of problems too with soprano, same kind of thing, um, playing too sharp. So uh, many years ago, I actually went to um, the trouble and had one of my um, repair guys actually um, glue in some uh, cork, like kind of crescent-shaped um, cork in the uh, in the tone holes right in here, and. Um, my saxophone teacher, Joe Viola, thought that was the, about the funniest thing he had ever seen. And, um, and it did help the intonation, but it was, a, it was a lot of effort, and he basically didn't, didn't really think that was necessary. Um, but I want to share with you what uh, Joe did tell me. Um, what he had me do was <laughs> remove the corks that I had put in the tone holes to to uh, reshape the tone holes to kind of like get the sound to uh, play in tune and um, he had me take those things out. It did work by the way but it, it uh, muffled the sound and kind of kind of killed my saxophone sound a little bit and, and uh, so what he did was, it's really interesting, I'm going to take this apart really quick because I want to show you something on the neck of the of the alto and what Joe did was actually, and hope, I'm going to show this in the camera, hopefully you can see it, um, this camera might not be good enough, but in the um, octave key hole right here, he put like a teeny piece of brass and reshaped the, um, the hole of the octave key, and uh, it, it amazingly helped out quite a bit. Um, so I just want to show that to you, maybe you can see that in the screen, not sure, but there's just a teeny piece of brass right in that hole and re, um, kind of reshape that hole and all of those notes seem to play a little better in tune. So it seems like that might be a design flaw maybe with Salmer or maybe some of the older instruments that have too big of a hole for the octave key. Now the, the thing that you want to just make sure is that uh, you don't plug up the hole, obviously, um, the for the octave key. So um, it's just an idea. Um, so there's something that you might try. Um, hopefully, you find that uh, interesting, and and uh, maybe we can play some of those um, notes in the mid range of alto a little better in tune. So thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.